Hi, dear students, welcome to Mahanti Maths. In this video, I want to discuss uh, some qu important questions on uh, Fairford squares, which is very important for IOQM. I have selected from the previous uh, exam papers. Fairford squares, very, very important for IOQM. Mm, minimum one or two questions will come in IOQM. That's why I want to discuss particularly this topic. Before go solving the questions, uh, I want to discuss the properties of Fairford squares. See the first property of the Fairford square. Last digit. Last digit of the Fairford square number is, it may be 0, 1 square means 1, 2 square 4, 3 square 9, 4 square is 16, 5 square is 5 and 6 square again 6 will come, 7 square 9 will come, 8 square 4 will come, 9 square 1 will come. So, these must be in the last digit. But one thing, important thing, um, if any number ends with this number, you cannot say it is a perfect square. But uh, any number ends with other than this one. Other than this one means what? Either 2 or 3 or uh, 7 or 8. Anything else? 8, any number ends with any one of these number, then it cannot be a perfect square. That much we can tell that. Now you see, from this so many properties we can tell that. The perfect square ends with 0 should contain even number of zeros at last. Even number of zeros at the end. Similarly, the number ends with 5 must end with 25. This is another property. You say this is the second property, this is the third property. And the number ends with 6. Suppose one number ends with 6, perfect square ends with 6. Before that one means tenth digit must be odd. This one must be odd. Means here odd number must be there. Then only it can be a perfect square. If it is even number, then it cannot be a perfect square. And for the remaining numbers you see, the numbers ends with 4, 1 or 4 or 9, the tenth digit must be even number. Suppose a number ends with uh, 1, here tens digit must be even number. Suppose it is ends with 4, tens digit must be even number. Suppose it ends with 9, and tens digit must be even number. Next property is the digital root of a perfect square. Digital root means what? Some of the digits we have to take. If it is single digit, then that is called digital root. If it is more than one digit, again you have to take sum of digits. Like that we have to bring into, uh, what is that, a single digit. Now you see, any perfect square you take, one perfect square number you take. The digital root, the digital root must be, 1 or 4 or 7 or 9. Remember that. If the digital root is not one of these things, it cannot be a perfect square. For example, 2, 3, 5, 7, 9 I have taken. This is what digital root is. 5 plus 5, 10. 10 plus 5, 17. 17 plus 26. 26 digital root is 8. See, the digital root of this number is not 1, not 4, not 7, not 8. So, it is not a perfect square, you can tell. Even though last digit is 9, it is not a perfect square. So, the digital root plays very, very important role to check whether a number is a perfect square or not. 
So again you see digital root of a perfect square must be 1 or 4 or 7 or 9. If you get the digital root other than these 4 numbers, it cannot be a perfect square. Next, this, this uh, properties know, you know very well. The square of an even number is uh, even. The square of an odd number is odd. Even square is even. Odd square is odd. These are very simple properties. The next property is very, very important property. If you take any perfect square number, the number of uh, positive divisors must be odd. For example, you take 9. 9 is a perfect square. How many divisors it has? You say D of 9. D of 9 means number of divisors of 9. How many will come? Divisors are 1, 3 and uh, then 9 only. So, 3 which is odd. You take any perfect square number, number of divisors must be odd. If number of divisors is not odd, it cannot be a perfect square. Uh, for example, one more we will take, uh, 256 I will take. Divisors of 256. What are the divisors of 256? 1, 2, uh, 4, after 4, 8, after 8, one, uh, 16, next 32, next uh, 64, next 64 into 4 is 256 na? then 128 last one is 256 so this much positive divisors are there so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 9 which is odd so what is the property here the number of divisors of a perfect square is always odd the next property very important property you see the perfect squares 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, uh, after that 64 and so on it will go. Now, if you observe the distance between these two, here the distance is 3, here the distance is 5, here the distance is 7, here the distance is uh, how much 9, here the distance is 11, like that the distance uh, increases. So, here the density of uh, perfect squares is more and gradually the density will be less. For example, if you take in certain range, you will get more perfect squares. Later stage, if you take same range, you cannot get that much perfect squares, very less number of perfect squares will come. You see 25 square is 625 and 26 square is I think uh, 676, uh, 676, uh, between these two the difference you observe, uh, how much it is 1 and uh, this is uh, 5, is it correct? 51, 51 distance is there, whereas the distance between 1 and 4 is 3, if you go 25 square and 26 square the distance is very more you see, means here the density is very uh, high and later stage the di distance will be more, the density will be more less. So, in particular range, here more perfect squares you will get, here less number of perfect squares we will get. You know Pythagorean triplet, Pythagorean triplet is a triplet such that a square plus b square equal to c square. Pythagorean triplet also depending on perfect squares only that's why I'm telling this one. See to construct Pythagorean triplets 2m m square minus 1 m square plus 1. Here you see 2m whole square equal to m square minus 1 whole square plus sorry 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 2m whole square plus m square minus 1 whole square equal to m square plus 1 whole square, 2m whole square plus m square minus 1 whole square equal to m square plus 1 whole square. Therefore, 2m m square minus 1 
m square plus 1 is a Pythagorean triplet. By giving sortable values for m, you will get different different Pythagorean triplets. These are the properties of perfect squares. By using these properties, we will solve the questions in previous exam paper of IOQM.